Football is a great sport, but sometimes there's another side to it. According to the USA Today database, there were 71 arrests of NFL players in the last two years, including Michael Kendricks and, of course, Kareem Hunt of the Kansas City Chiefs. And there were four more arrests in February. There's also been a number of player dismissals in college football in the last year as well. But there's a program at South Carolina headed by a Gamecock legend and started by Will Muschamp to help prevent incidents from happening during and even after a player's time at USC. Also going to welcome back Marcus Lattimore, uh, one of the greatest Gamecocks of all time, uh, to be director of player development, working on life skills in our Beyond Football program. So this is a home run for us. Home run plays are what Marcus Lattimore fans are used to. Marcus finished his time at USC with the most rushing touchdowns in a career and set the record for the most rushing touchdowns in a single season. But he suffered two devastating injuries in both of his knees. He was drafted by the 49ers in 2013, but he never played a down in the NFL because of the injuries and retired. He knows what it's like to have the spotlight and the aftermath once it goes out. Next group, next group. He started a foundation to give back and even became the head coach of Heathwood Hall's football program for one season. Now he's returned to USC in a very different capacity, but he's found his true calling thanks to Will Muschamp. I kind of knew this opportunity would be here. And uh, you know what? For him to think that much of me, I, I'm, I'm forever grateful uh, because this has ended up being, um, I guess, a revelation for me. Uh, I, I know what I want to do with the rest of my life because I've been in this position. His position requires a lot of hats. Marcus said he's had to be a mentor, counselor, and psychologist in his first year while finding time in what can be a hectic schedule for a student athlete. But the goal is for these young men to recognize their issues and surroundings, to stop patterns of behavior, and prevent future problems. So many of them come from... Uh, they come from low socioeconomic status. They come from poverty. They come from dysfunction. Uh, that's that's a, a regular thing in their household. And you have to have strategies and exercises to be able to help them and make sure that they understand the negative behavior uh, that sometimes we have. They stem from places they don't understand. So them understanding that uh, helps them break those negative patterns and bad decisions. And I think that's what we all want. With his second year right in front of him, Marcus is on a mission for more players to understand what it truly means to win, not only on the field, but in life. No matter how stressful or, or hard it ever gets, when they click and they see things, the things they used to think that mattered, they really don't matter. Those material things, it, it's a... It's a great day in, in, in my life uh, and in my mind and uh, makes it so fulfilling uh, when, when, when that clicks. During spring practice, the players will also be developing off of the field. The team will participate in a new off-season program called Mastering Your Emotions. Programs like this is another way Marcus is trying to help ensure success for the Gamecocks long after their playing days are over. Reporting in the studio, Joe Cook News 19, WLTX.